welcome to our channel. Today we will learn about a widely recognized air defense system that has been protecting nations around the globe. That's right, we're talking about the MIM-104 Patriot Air Defense Missile System. MIM-104 Patriot is an advanced surface-to-air missile system primarily designed for air defense. Developed by the United States, the Patriot system has been exported to several countries and has seen extensive combat use around the world. Despite its cutting-edge features, the Patriot system does encounter some limitations and problems. In today's video, we will discuss about the limitations and problems of Patriot air defense system, so make sure to stick around. Similar to other air defense systems, the Patriot air defense system is also limited by range. The range varies depending on the specific variant of the system and the type of threat being targeted but it typically operates within a range of tens to hundreds of kilometers. Patriot is effective against short-range and medium-range ballistic missiles, low-flying cruise missiles, various types of aircraft including fighter jets and helicopters, and UAVs used for reconnaissance or carrying explosive payloads. The Patriot system is effective against short-range ballistic missiles, but its effectiveness against long-range ballistic missiles is limited. But on the other hand, the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System can shoot down long and intermediate-range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase by intercepting with a hit-to-kill approach. The Patriot system has a history of software glitches that have led to failures in detecting incoming missiles. The most notable instance of the Patriot system's software glitches occurred during the Gulf War in 1991. At the time, the system was being used to defend against incoming Scud missiles launched by Iraq. However, on February 25, a Scud missile struck an army barracks in Dharan, Saudi Arabia, killing 28 soldiers and injuring 100 more. After investigating the incident, it was determined that the Patriot system had failed to track the incoming missile due to a software glitch. The system's clock had drifted by a small amount, causing it to miscalculate the missile's location and trajectory. This error went unnoticed by the system's operators, who had not been trained to recognize recognize such a problem. Since then, the Patriot system has undergone numerous upgrades and improvements to address these issues. Another instance demonstrating the system's vulnerability to software glitches was observed during the 2003 Iraq War. In this conflict, the MIM-104 Patriot Air Defense System misidentified RAF Tornado Fighter Jet. Two Patriot missiles were fired at a British Tornado Fighter Jet. However, due to a software error, both missiles missed their target, highlighting the system's limitations in accurately detecting and intercepting incoming threats and its problems related to software glitches. The Patriot system has faced challenges in correctly distinguishing between friend and foe. During the Iraq War, a U.S. Navy Super Hornet was possibly shot down by a Patriot missile while on a mission in central Iraq. In the early days of the war, a Patriot missile battery also tried to shot down an RAF tornado. In a separate incident, a US F-16 jet destroyed a Patriot missile battery that had locked onto the jet and was preparing to fire, which highlights the challenge of accurately detecting friend and foe for Patriot air defense system. And finally, let's discuss one of the major limitations of the Patriot missile defense system, its high cost per missile and limited number of missiles in a battery. The Patriot system is undoubtedly effective in intercepting incoming threats, but it comes with a hefty price tag. Each missile carries a cost of approximately $4 million, making it an expensive investment for any country or military force. Additionally, the system's batteries have a limited number of missiles, which can restrict its ability to defend against multiple simultaneous threats. In this scenario, the land-based phalanx weapon system also known as the C-RAM system is more cost-effective, mobile, and effective against low-altitude threats compared to the Patriot missile defense system. Despite these problems and limitations, it's important to note that the Patriot system has also demonstrated significant successes in real-world scenarios. Many countries continue to rely on it as a vital component of their defense strategies. However, ongoing efforts to address these limitations and develop more advanced air defense systems are crucial for staying ahead of evolving threats. Thanks for joining us. We hope you found this video insightful. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our latest defense content. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.